Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Mixed Reality Capture in Tavori using Leaf. First of all, make sure your Tavori is fully updated and you have the latest version. Then uh, make sure you have Leaf. If you don't have it, just go to Steam and download it. It's free, so there shouldn't be any problem with that. Then you're going to need a web camera or any kind of camera connected to your PC and also the green screen. Uh, the physical green screen is the best option, but if you don't have one and there are some alternatives, um, including the one I'm going to show you, the chroma cam. So let's begin this tutorial. First of all, launch leave. And you're gonna see this window, and here just click install, it's the one time thing. It says you need to restart SteamVR, it's okay. Restart SteamVR. All right, so SteamVR restarted and we have leave open. Then if you're gonna use the virtual green screen, as I am here, open your green screen camera software. Like I have Chroma Game here. I just enable preview and see what it does. Hey everyone again. So we can see me and the background. I don't have any green screen, but I can enable the virtual green screen, cutting out the background here. It's not perfect, but it's okay for demonstrating purposes. I'm gonna switch to the actual one for now. So we have leave opened and our webcam software opened. Then we have to click launch uh, compositor. Once compositor is open, you'll see a window like this. And here just go to camera and then click add. Here we select the camera type. For us, it's gonna be video camera. Then the actual device, it's chroma cam for me and can be anything for you and the mode. I'm just selecting the best supported mode here. And voila, now you can see it again on in the compositor window. The next step we're gonna make is to rename it somehow, just to make sure it's okay. And go to the calibration tab. Make sure it's set to none static and then click begin calibration. So we the option we're gonna use is calibrate from headset. And I'll show you how it's gonna look in a headset. Uh, once you're in a calibration mode, make sure to put on your headset and click begin calibration. You'll see the red cross right in the middle here. What you need to do is to put your controls trigger as close to the actual camera as it's shown here as possible, like the middle point of the trigger. So we go to the physical camera and make sure to align the center of the trigger and put it as close as possible like this. And then click the trigger. Okay, then we're gonna move a bit away like this and you'll see a, a red cross there uh, you need to do the same thing with it just put your hand there and align the middle of your trigger with the center of this cross and click and the second cross is right there in the lower right corner so basically do the same All right, so I now should be able to see the controllers. As you can see, they are aligned, but there's some lag here. So uh, usually what you have to do is to increase the latency here. For me, something between 100 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds works most of the time. So I'll try this value. As you can see, it's much better now. The latency is much better. 
So I'm pretty okay with the position and rotation, but if you're not, make sure to offset this. And then what we have to do is to click save. You can also see your leaf camera here. And that's it for the headset setup. So once the calibration is finished, just make sure to save your camera settings here. And that's it for the settings basically. Then go to your camera settings in Chroma Cam if you use this and set up a green screen here. So as you can see, it cuts out the background here. Also, you can set up the camera if, if your screen is not green, for example, blue or something like that. Just go to Edit, Keying, and pick the color you want. And you can also set the threshold there. Okay, so you don't need to change this, so I leave it as is. The next thing you're gonna need to do is to actually open to worry. Let's go to Steam here and launch to worry. At this point it should work already, but make sure to check the capture settings here. So go to auto and select worry if it's not selected here. Also, if you won't be able to see to worry in this list, go to manual, make sure the use SDK is checked, the effect is SDK normal, and select target to tavori.exe if you'll see it here. And once Tavori launches, you'll be able to see this preview window of Leaf if you look straight into your uh, web camera. So you can actually see what you're doing here and how it looks like. For example, I can interact with these cylinders and they are in front of me. I can enlarge them and do any kind of stuff like this. So they can even intersect with my body. How cool is that? Yeah, so basically you can do any normal stuff. For example, I can write something here. Let's see. And that's it for the tutorial. Just use the leave output window to capture a video with any software like OBS or any other video capturing software. And have fun with that.